In a sweeping move, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds signed a bill that would ban transgender girls and women from playing on school-affiliated female sports teams. KIMT News 3's Alex Jurgens is hearing from an area resident about the law and what future implications could lie ahead for the Hawkeye State. He joins us live in studio. Alex? Yeah, Jess, in a statement released after the governor signed the bill into law yesterday, she said that forcing females to compete against males is the opposite of inclusivity. The law would not just affect public and private schools, but also community colleges and NCAA and NAIA affiliated colleges and universities. No student will be prevented from playing a sport that matches his or her biological sex or a co-ed designated sport. Allison Sachs is transgender herself and she feels the law is shutting out opportunities for transgender people. You're straight up locking them out of collegiate and professional sports in general because they don't have that time to develop their skills and their, um, their athletic abilities in high school. During that very critical developmental period, you are locking them out of developing meaningful relationships with their peers, which are vital during that period. And supporters of the law say that it promotes fairness, with Iowa Republican Party co-chair and former North Iowa Representative Linda Upmeyer saying in a statement that young girls should not be discouraged from participating or succeeding in athletics because competition is out of their ability to compete. Live in Studio 3, Alex Jurgens, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Alex. Iowa is one of six states that have enacted similar legislation involving transgender students in sports.